Hey, what is going on guys? Vexen and I bring another Photoshop tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how to make a clean outro just like mine. Now I'm doing this because it's ha I've had a lot of requests for it. just had so many people asking me to do more of their clean designs kind of stuff the way I do mine. You know, my lower thirds, my outro, my intro, stuff like that. So in the near future I'll be making more and more videos of that kind of style because a lot of people have been requesting it. Now this will use Photoshop and Sony Vegas. Now because I'm using Sony Vegas, because you know that's what my channels are sort of centered around rather than Premiere and After Effects like I would myself, I will have to simplify this tutorial a bit and you know maybe cut some of the stuff out uh, that my actual intro has, but it'll pretty much be the same sort of style and the same theme. So with that said, let's just jump straight into the first part of the tutorial, which will be in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, so just what I'm going to do is create a new document. Now you can make this whatever really resolution that you uh, record your videos at. So usually mine are 1440p, but just for example, I'm going to do uh, 1080p. And then just name this whatever you want. So we'll just call it outro. Then create it. Now, if you've uh, never actually seen one of my videos, I'll actually open up a folder here. And I'll show you guys, uh, you know, what my... Because some of you guys might not have actually seen uh, my videos. So you don't actually know what, you know, they, they look like. So example here. So we just go to the end of my video. My The way my outro works is it has a sort of blue line that uh, cuts up from the side. Just watch this right hand side here. And then once it like, so this blue line expands up, slides across, and then once it does that, try to get back to you. And remember, if you see someone else with a problem and you know the answer, please all the different parts up here. So this is basically what we're going to be doing. This will involve some keyframing in uh, Vegas or whatever software you use, but this tutorial will show you in Vegas. And then before we actually keyframe these parts, we actually need to make them in Photoshop. So that's what we're going to do now. So first thing, we're just going to get a rectangle tool, and then we're just going to make a big square. Now you can make this kind of whatever size you want, but what I recommend you doing is I'll leave a link uh, down below to the different sizing of the new YouTube outro layout so you can get all your sizing perfect and it all fitting nicely. So with our square, uh, what we're going to do is just make this a, we want a nice gray color so we can just use the background as an example. And then the stroke, we'll just turn this off. And then what we want to do is we can actually just create a stroke on this because I won't be keyframing that blue line. I'm just going to have the whole thing swipe across. What we're going to do is we'll just add a stroke to this and make that the blue line. So here, we'll select this color. You can make it kind of whatever color you want. We'll just do red as an example. Set this dotted line to straight. And then actually up here, you can see a line. Then you want to set this to outside. And then the pixels will go down to maybe uh, 10. Yeah, 10 looks pretty good. And actually, I'm not liking that red, so I'm just going to grab a, a blue here. Or, yeah, blue, that'll do. Just for example. And then that's pretty much the background of our actual image. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my sizing template, which will be available for download in the description. Okay, so I've gone and downloaded this. So this just shows you, uh, this is basically a screenshot of the actual YouTube page. So as you see, this is how big your... Uh, logos are going to be for your you know icons and then this is how big the previews are this is the minimum size you can actually uh, make them bigger than this but uh, this is just what we need to know as the smallest they will go so what we're going to do is we're going to go a rectangle tool again and just select about the size of this box and we're actually going to go a bit bigger so we can get that a uh, nice border so say that's pretty good and then we want to make that no stroke and then the fill to white and then what we can do is if we hide this layer, Control T on that rectangle, we can move it over to the side and just position it wherever we want. Now, of course, with mine, I have my video here and then the two channels, so like each of my second channels. But if you want, you can always just make this uh, two videos, for example. You can really mess around with this, uh, do it however you want. But just for this example, I'm going to do two videos. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add our name or our title. So we're going to go text tool. Then up here, we can just type our name. So just going to do Vexinator. And then obviously we want this to be white, so switch that to white. And you can also, you know, do whatever font you want. So we can do maybe Kenyan Coffee, that looks pretty nice. And we can put this to bold italics, that actually looks really good. Make that a bit smaller. And then what we can do down the bottom, I want to put like follow me or subscribe. 
we're going to do subscribe and we'll actually put follow and subscribe perfect and then we we'll want to make this uh, not we just want to make this regular so it's not bold and then up here we can make this italics so again we'll make this smaller so it fits it's looking really good and then pretty much your videos will be going in here and then what we can do now is we need to export all of these layers separately so we can then edit them in Vegas. So to do that, what we're going to do is just go and disable each of these layers. So what we're going to do is hide all of them. And then we're going to go, just, so it's just this left. And then we can go File, Save As, Desktop. And we can go JPEG. Actually, no, I want PNG. Make sure you do PNG because we do need that uh, clear background. And then just click uh, you know, maybe Background. Then what we can do is hide this, enable the rectangles, do the same thing. So that's pretty sure that's all our parts. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump straight into Vegas and you know just drag all these into Vegas and we'll go from there. Okay, so here we are in Vegas. So I've already got all of my stuff imported, and if I go file and properties, you can see it's a 1080p document, 60 FPS, and then we'll actually turn this just to a December sample. So that's pretty sure that's project settings, stuff imported. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is get your background layer, drag this in, and then what we're going to be doing is some keyframing. So what we need to do is click on this up button right here, the event pan crop button, and this will allow us to basically you know, do some simple keyframing. Now you want to just make sure that this sync cursor button is ticked because this will allow you to, everything you do in here will be synced up to this preview window. So we're going to go right back to the beginning, and then what we're going to do is keyframe this by moving it all the way to this side so we won't be able to see it anymore just like that and then we can go maybe uh, 15 frames or sorry 30 frames later so it'll be half a second and then what we can do is bring this back to its original position so if we just play this back here we can see it slides across the screen just like that now we can close this it's pretty much done there and what we're going to do is drag in our boxes. Well, actually, no, we'll do our name first. So we can drag this above. And then again, we'll do the same thing, basically, except this time, instead of keyframing, we're going to just going to do a nice fade in. So when the box starts, which is half a second in, then what we do, start the clip from, start it from there so that it doesn't, you know, start fading in before anything's actually there behind it. And then we can do our fade in. And we'll make that about half a second as well. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to zoom in just so you can see this a bit better. And then what we want to do is add our boxes. So with these, we can do a fade in if we just want to keep it nice and simple. Or I suppose you can maybe do the, like what I did where they pop out bigger. So with this, what we can do is the event pan crop. And then go back to the beginning of them. Actually, what I'll do is I'll make sure these start after the text has faded in. So... We'll go to 130. I'll actually make that 115. Start the clip there. Vent pan crop. Make it so these are really small. Get them right in the center where you want them. And then go about half a second later. Right click, restore. And then actually, what I want to do is move these over. They're not quite centered properly. And as we can see here, these shrink from being tiny, and then they zoom in. Now, it doesn't quite work because I've exported these as one whole thing, but obviously if you export them as two separate squares, or, you know, a square and then the two circles for your icons, then you can make this work and uh, have them zoom in like that. So that's pretty much that, and then the call to action, I'm just going to do a nice fade in as well. So we'll jump uh, to the two-second mark. So you can see all of this doesn't take very long. It's, you know, rather quick and then fade to about half a second so 30 and then check this one's 30 as well okay now once this is all done all of this has appeared the important thing is that after your boxes appear and they're there that you have your images appearing after that so what we're going to do is from this point where the boxes are become full size a youtube will allow you to make these last for 20 seconds so we want to go to 2145 and that's where we're going to end all of this so 21 is down here 2145 we want and then that's going to allow us after the boxes have appeared 
20 seconds exactly the maximum time YouTube allows for this stuff at the end of the video uh, to appear. So you, you, know, you just want to have this stuff last as long as you possibly can, but you don't want white boxes sitting there when you don't have, you know, we don't have anything to put on top of the boxes. And also remember that when we're doing this, you can't do anything in the first 20 seconds of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this, drag it all. So I'll shift to drag these, drag them all down to about the 45 second mark just to make it sure we have you know, plenty of room. And then I'm going to put some gameplay behind it, export this, and we can jump straight to YouTube and I'll show you how to do it from there. Oh, and quick thing just before I export this is you want to put a fade to black on the end of these. So just put a nice about one second fade on the end of all of these. And that'll just make your video a bit less abrupt when it ends because I know a lot of people don't do this. And for me, it just feels like the video ends rather abruptly and it's just, you know, kind of jarring. So put a nice fade to black on all of these. And then I've also got my gameplay here and, you know, now you can export it. Okay, so once you're here, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to go use template. And as you see here, there's all different options you can do. What we're going to do is want to scroll down and just select the option with two videos on the right hand side. So we'll probably just use this one, select it. And then what we can do is we just pause the video here. We can get this piece and we actually want to remove that. So uh, edit button and then just delete. So we need to move these uh, overlay, uh, you know, sort of videos to position it centered within the boxes. So first thing you just move them down and then they pretty much sent in the boxes. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have to actually pay much attention because in uh, Vegas, I actually went and redid these squares, but I've done them a little bit too low. So you can't actually center this one. So that's something you need to keep in mind, you know, your height and stuff. But if you use the template correctly, uh, you know, unlike me, you'll be able to do that just fine. So I'm actually going to zoom in a bit here so you can see properly. So if we just go and we click this preview button up here, we can just click it and you can see our boxes pop up, videos pop up, and then our text down the bottom. Now that text is a bit quick down the bottom as you can probably tell. So you can always just uh, muck around with the timings a bit yourself, get them right. But the videos uh, work pretty well. You can always just click on the uh, edit element button and that allows you to select any of your videos or a playlist, uh, re most recent upload, uh, automatically picks one so it's like the suggested down the side. Any of those kind of options, you can muck around with that yourself. But personally, what I would do is I'd have a playlist on one. So if this was like a Vegas tutorial. I'd have a playlist for all my other Vegas videos. And then underneath, I'd have my probably just most, re most recent upload. So that's what you guys, pretty straightforward to do. As usual with these templates, I'll have a link down below where you can download the different materials you need to do this. So that'll be the sizing template. And then if you actually wanna buy the template straight out, which will be a Photoshop PSD and a Vegas document, if you wanna buy them, you can on my cell site and that will be $1. So please check those links out. If you wanna buy it, do. I always encourage you guys to try and follow the tutorials yourselves. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything and you can just learn a bit yourself. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please have a like or comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more like this. It's always really appreciated when I hear your feedback and do what you guys want me to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.